all want to know. Where in the world is... San Diego, Tom Murphy. This is Dan Choma. He collects coins and plays baseball. He studies Latin and is learning Taekwondo, a Korean martial art. This is Alexandra de Cipris. She likes astronomy, collecting comic books, reading science fiction, and playing the flute. This is Hashim Mupam. He plays tennis, baseball, ping pong, and chess. He likes to visit India, and he's learning to speak French. And this is Nimoy, Carmen's oozy goozy celestial floozy. Nimoy. Her last known whereabouts? Southeastern Africa. This area is home to over a million bearded wildebeest. Every spring, these members of the antelope family make the longest annual mass migration on Earth. Their trip begins in the Serengeti plains of Tanzania. They travel west toward the Serengeti woodlands and continue north to Kenya's Maasai Mara. They don't all make it. Some get sick, others become lion food. But the wandering wildebeest took an unwelcome detour today when Nimoy oozed into Africa and shanghaied the entire migration. She wants to take them back to her planet because she thinks they look like a Roddenberry and ant farm. Gumshoes, you've got to capture Carmen, nail Nimoy, and figure out where the wandering wildebeest went. <laughs> Here's that he's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Fred Lee! Hey, guys. Hello. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Dan, how you doing, man? Alexandra? Hashim. Hashim. Sorry, man. Good to see you. Okay, just want to remind you guys that if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that's not too bad, really, huh? We're going to start you up with 50 at me crime bucks. And you guys know how to play this game, so we'll get started with our first clue. We know that Nimoy has stolen the wildebeest, Red. so there's... Don't even bother with that first clue. Lemke just called and told me exactly where Nimoy is. We, we don't have to guess. We know exactly where she is. We can just send the gumshoes out, nab Nimoy, and wrap this whole thing up and go out and have a soda. <laughs> Great, Chief. Where are we ah, going? Upper Volta. It's inland in West Africa. People there are mainly corn and cotton farmers and cattle herders. Those wildebeests are probably migrating across the Black Volta River right now. Great. Uh, except for one thing, Chief. Uh, there is no such country as Upper Volta. Oh. Chief. You're right. Yeah. yeah the, the place changed its name in 1984, actually. Oh. Uh. Well, cancel those sodas, Greg. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Lemke? Yeah. You better have a darn good explanation. You know, somehow I know exactly how Lemke feels right now. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Sierra Leone, Burkina Faso, or Uganda? Remember the clues that we heard. Changed its name from Upper Volta in 1984. It's Inland in West Africa and Black Volta River. Everybody's ready. Dan, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Uganda. Uganda. Alexandra? I chose Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Hashim. I said Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. The answer we're looking for is Burkina Faso. Nice job, Hashim. And Alexander. Nice job. As you know, we, we give you 10 crime books every time you answer a question correctly. So that means Dan, you have 50. Alexander has 60. Hashim has 60. And as you probably also know, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you very much. For our second clue, we uh, turn to Acme Carnivorous Fishnet. Hey, Piranha, what's the word, man? Um, uh, here's something to chew on. Nimoy is hiding out in the world's largest wetlands area. We're talking a swamp bigger than Pennsylvania, Greg. It covers about 220,000 square kilometers, mostly in the Brazilian states of Mato Grosso and South Mato Grosso. I got a lot of family over there, so visit when you go. <laughs> They'd be happy to have you for dinner. <laughs> I don't know if I like the sound of that. Okay, guys, name the South American region, if you will, please. Is it Amazon Basin, the Pampas, or the Pantanal? Remember the clues that we heard. Largest wetlands in the world, mostly in the Brazilian states of Mato Grosso and South Mato Grosso. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Everybody's ready. Dan, what do you say? 
I chose Amazon Basin. Amazon Basin. Alexandra? I chose the Pantanal. The Pantanal. Hashem? I said the Amazon Basin. Amazon Basin. The answer we're looking for is the Pantanal. Nice job, Alexandra. <laughs> So that means, Dan, you have 50, Alexandra has 70, Hashem, you have 60 crime bucks. Nice job. Okay, uh, if you guys could just wait here for a moment. I just remembered that I have to go uh, recycle my dental floss. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. We meet again? Yes, the volleyballs have the mumps. Okay, don't tell me, volleyballs... Uh, volleyballs mean... Uh, oh, you never know the code. I've been busy! Nimoy is in the first permanent European settlement in the United States. Yes. Ponce de Leon landed there in 1513 while looking for the Fountain of Youth. Oh, the Fountain of Youth. But don't look at Sorry. me! Sorry! Of course, the Tamuqua people were there a thousand years before him. Mm -hmm. The alligators wrestle on the farm. Okay, the alligators wrestle on the farm. It's Al not code, Greg. I knew that. You can go to an alligator farm there and watch them wrestle. Right. One more thing. Yes. You're stepping on my pig. Okay, you're stepping on my pig. Bow. Oh, yeah, stepping on my... That was very... Yes. Yes. Good one. It's good. Okay, we're done with the bit. Let's have the color back, please. Thank you. Okay, guys, you heard it. If you will, please name the city. Is it... Boston, Massachusetts, St. Augustine, Florida, or Norfolk, Virginia. Remember the clues that we heard. First permanent European settlement in the U.S., Alligator Farm, and Ponce de Leon. Everybody's ready. Dan, what do you say? I chose St. Augustine, Florida. St. Augustine, Florida. Alexandra? I chose St. Augustine, Florida. Same thing. Hashem? I also chose St. Augustine, Florida. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Nice job, guys. <laughs> So that means, Dan, you go up to 60, Alexandra has 80, Hashem has 70 crime bucks. Nice job. Now, for our next one. Ooh, how startling. You know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Florida. Every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. Hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto landed in Tampa Bay in 1539. Then he headed west and made it all the way to an American landmark. Was it... Disney World, the Mississippi River. Hashem? What is the Mississippi River? Uh, the Mississippi River is right. Nice job, fire for you. Keep your hands there on your thing. <laughs> Question two. On your travels around the Everglades, you're likely to spot a huge swamp. Is it enormous duck swamp, teeny tiny turtle swamp, or big cypress swamp? Alexandra. Big cypress swamp? Is right. Nice job, five for you. Last one. Only one state forms Florida's western border. Is it Georgia, Alabama, or Mississippi? Hashem. What is Georgia? Uh, sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Dan. Um, Georgia, Alabama, or Mississippi? Alabama. Alabama's right. Nice job, Dan. Five for you. He's everybody got one on that one. Nice job. At the end of that round, Dan has 65. Alexandra has 85. Hashem, 75 crime bucks. Nice Greg, job. don't come into my office right away. Uh, you know, I think something's the matter with the chief. If you guys would just... Hold on here. This is uh, rather confusing. Just, I'll be right back. Hold on. Chief, what's going on? Oh, I'm glad you're not here, Greg. Uh, Chief, don't you mean you're glad I am here? No. Wait a minute. This is very strange. Say, Chief, do you like lima beans? No. Aha. I happen to know that Chief loves lima beans. Let me try something else. Uh, Chief, are you a water bug? Yes. Aha. I also happen to know that Chief is not a water bug. I sense a pattern here. Chief, you're saying the opposite of everything you mean, aren't you? No! Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so! Now, what could possibly... Well, Chief, here's the problem right here. It's your polarity. It's on negative. Oh, please don't switch it. Uh, don't worry, I will. Bring on the lima beans! Hey. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's who won today. <laughs> Bam.
Congratulations to the winners. Hey, Chief, what's this right here? Oh, no, don't touch that dial, Greg. It's a very delicate instrument, and you might do something wrong with it. Greg, don't touch the dial. If you do that, it'll get broken. We'll never be able to fix it. Greg, Greg, put that dial back right now. Sorry, Chief. Greg, mm. go away. All right. Go away. I'll be right out the door, Chief. Sometimes he makes me so mad. Okay, guys, remember, we're still after Nimoy and the Wildebeest. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen San Diego. Watch. They're after you, Nimoy. Head for a New York town on the Niagara River. It's famous for its wings. A flying city, Carmen? I didn't think Earth would have those for centuries. No, Nimoy. The city doesn't fly. It's known for its chicken wings. The chickens fly especially well? No. There's a way of preparing chicken wings that was named for the city. First you cook the wings in a spicy sauce. Then you dip them in blue cheese dressing with celery on the side. Mmm. Just like a recipe on Roddenberry. We cook triple tongues and dip them in grape liver dressing with celery on the side. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Buffalo, Watertown, or Albany? Remember the clues that we heard on Niagara River and famous for its chicken wings recipe. Everybody's ready. Maybe this one is easy. Dan, what do you say? I chose Watertown. Watertown. Alexandra? I chose Buffalo. Buffalo. Hashim? I also chose Buffalo. Buffalo. The answer we're looking for is Buffalo. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah. So that means, Dan, you have 65, Alexandra, 95, Hashim, 85 crime books. That's a nice... Oh, wait a minute, that only means one thing. It's time for us to check in at the Roach Hotel. <laughs> hey, Kafka, what's up? Oh, hi, Greg. You know, I got some dirt on Nimoy. She's swimming in a waterway that was finished in 1959. It connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, some of the lakes were already connected, but where they weren't, the government just dug canals. <laughs> they chomped through the land like it was a rotten meatloaf. <laughs> Gotta run, Greg. I'm going swimming myself <laughs> in a bowl of onion soup. Woohoo! Here I go to the beach. Thank you. Thank you. So Thanks, bad. Kafka. No, All right. Thank you. Okay, Gumshoes, name the waterway, if you will, please. Is it Erie Canal, Hudson River? or St. Lawrence Seaway. Remember the clues that we heard. Man-made waterway and links the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. You have to think about this one, but everybody's ready. Dan, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose the St. Lawrence Seaway. St. Lawrence Seaway. Alexandra? I chose the Erie Canal. Erie Canal. Hashim? I chose the Erie Canal. Erie Canal. The answer we're looking for is the St. Lawrence Seaway. Nice job, Dan. So that means Dan has 75, Alexandra 95, Hashim 85 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Nimoy has left the St. Lawrence Seaway, so let's pick up the chase. The chase! All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully. Here we go. Nimoy dashed to the home of the first Canadian baseball team to Hashim. Toronto. Toronto is right. Then she whisked the wildebeest. Uh, to Montreal, what province, Hashim? Quebec. Quebec is right. Next, Nimoy motored the migration to the city of Gaspé. What peninsula is she on? Hashim. Delmarva. Sorry, it's Gaspé Peninsula. She swam from Gaspé to Prince Edward Island. What gulf did she cross? Alexandra. St. Lawrence. Is right. Nimoy trotted the wildebeests to the capital of Nova Scotia. Name the city. Hush. Say again. Halifax. Halifax is right. Nice job, guys. That means at the end of the chase, Dan has 75, Alexander 100, Hashem 100 crime bucks. Give him a hand, guys. Woo! Good round. Nice job. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme crime books. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map. And think about it. How much you gonna risk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Think about it. Okay, it looks like everybody's ready for our final clue. We turn to Vanessa Williams of Acme Melrose PlaceNet. Watch. 
Nimoy has stashed the wildebeests in a Scandinavian country that borders Russia and the Norwegian Sea. Now, cross-country skiing was probably invented there. And kids usually learn to ski before they start school. Instead of three big meals a day, people usually eat four or five smaller meals. Now, nab that Nimoy and cease this wildebeest tease. I mean, heist. Okay, thanks a lot, Vanessa. All right, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Norway, Finland, or Poland? Remember the clues that we heard? Scandinavian country bordering Russia and Norwegian Sea. Skiing is very popular, and it's customary to eat four or five meals a day. Not bad. Okay, since this is the final round, everyone has their answers uh, down there in front of them. Dan, we're going to start with you. You have 75 crime bucks. How much did you risk, bud? Um, I risked 40 crime bucks. 40 crime bucks. What'd you say, Dan? I chose... Finland. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 40. Let's see what else happens. Alexandra, you have 100 crime bucks? I risk 20 crime You risk bucks. 20. What'd you say? I said Finland. That's not the answer we're looking for. You dropped 20. Hashim, you have 100 crime bucks. You risk? 30. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Finland. Finland. Obviously, the answer we were looking for was Norway. So that means we stand now with Dan at 35, Alexandra 80, and Hashim 70. But I got good news. Alexandra and Hashim, you're going on to the next round. Dan, listen, man, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief, I've been turning this place upside down trying to find that alien. And for all the help you've given us, we're giving you this upside down Acme travel kit. You get an atlas. Now, if it's hard to read, just stand on your head. The official Carmen walk, a Carmen t shirt. And a subscription to National Geographic World magazine. But here's the good part about being upside down. You just take this world ball and... Yes. Congratulations. Greg, yeah. there's mustard on your sleeve. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll check that out later. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, it's time for us to go to Norway now to try to catch Nimoy and get back the loot. You guys ready to go? Are you? Okay, Hashim, if you can get the door. Alexander, if you wouldn't mind taking my hat. We're on our way to Norway. Greg, watch it. You don't want to exceed the speed limit. I'll stay under five zillion miles an hour, Chief. I promise. Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in Norway. Take your positions right over this way, if you will, please. The chief is here and has some important information she'd like for you to hear. So listen very carefully. There are 15 places here in Norway where you might find Nimoy, the Warrant, or the Wildebeest. Uh, Wildebeests. Wildebeesties. Whatever. Here are a few of them. Oslo, the capital of Norway. A quaint city surrounded by sea breezes and pine forests. Wildebeests turn up here? They just might. Or check a summer ski resort, like this one. High altitudes retain snow all year round, but the summer sun makes it warm enough to don a bikini. Don a bikini. Isn't she an Acme Beach Net agent? Check for Nimoy in the town of Bergen. Medieval buildings, artist studios, and cobblestone streets. Well, that's your briefing gumshoes. Now turn Oslo upside down if you have to. Nab Nimoy. A lot, Chief. Okay, guys, just as a reminder, loot warrant crook, that's the order. You do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego, okay? Alexandra, you are ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Arkashus Castle. Arkashus Castle. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Hush Land up. of Kings. Land of Kings. Nothing there. Alexandra. Gloma River. Gloma River. Nothing. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Holman Colon Ski Jump. Holman Colon Ski Jump. Whee! I think there, Alexander, go ahead. Just Tittle Glacier. Say again. Just Tittle Glacier. Just Tittle Glacier. No. Nothing there, okay. Hashim. Frogner Park. Frogner Park. Yeah. Nothing there, okay. Alexander. Uh, Lidl Manor. Uh, Lidl Manor. The warrant. Nice job. You get the warrant. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot warrant crook. Go ahead, Alexander. Contiki Museum. Contiki U Museum. Nothing there, but you did find the warrant. We turned both of them back around. Thank you. Okay, Hashim, go ahead. Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. Nothing there. But, you know, it is interesting to note that Norway has a third of itself 
in the Arctic Circle. And there's a better way to say that, but, you know. Go ahead, Alexander. Ancient Marathon. Ancient Marathon. I'm running as fast as I can. Nothing <laughs> there. <laughs> University of Oslo. University of Oslo. Nothing there. Alexandra. Hopperstadt Church. Hopperstadt Church. Nimoy. Nice job. You found Nimoy. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Be careful. Go ahead. Nordfjord. Uh, Nordfjord. Wandering wilderness. Mm, you have uh, Nimoy. You also have the loot. Remember, you have to go in the right order, so be careful here, Alexandra. Go Jostedal ahead. Jostedal Glacier. Jostedal Glacier. Nothing there. We turned all three of them back around. And uh, Hashem, uh, Hashem Nord, it's your turn. Nordfjord. Nordfjord. Beauty and the wildebeest. <laughs> Go ahead, Hazem. Leodol Manor. Uh, L Leodol Manor. The warrant. You have the loot, you have the warrant, you need just one more. Do you remember where she is? Hopperstad Church. Is she still at Hopperstad Church? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> sure, man. Nice job, buddy. Very nice job. You know, we don't have a court system here. We just pull on the chain and put them in jail, so go ahead and do it. Me, <laughs> Okay, you put it all together. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Alexandra, listen, you were a tremendous detective. You tracked me all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. I've been watching you carefully. Now, luck didn't run your way on this case. But I can tell you've got real potential. That's why I want you to work with our Acme Travel Kit and to check out the international airwaves with this World Band Radio. Please take it with our sincere thanks and congratulations for a job well done. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, Hashim, here is your shatterproof portfolio. You know what's inside of here. There's a pen and also a piece of paper. What we want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. So do it. I thought you were going someplace else until you get to the end. Very good. You been there before? That's great. Very nice. Very good. Hold on a second. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. It's for you, bud. Hello? Oh, another planet, another prison cell. Maybe I could spend my sentence getting to know Carmen better. Look for her in North America. What'd she say, Hashim? We're going to North America. Okay, Hashim, you and I are going to North America. Chief, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, USA, Great Bear Lake, Canada, Lake Winnipeg, Canada, Quebec, Canada, Nova Scotia, Canada, North Carolina, USA, Illinois, USA, Oklahoma, USA, Nevada, USA, Jalisco, Mexico, El Salvador, Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> You know what this is all about, right? Yeah. Okay, let me just show you. Since this is a new map for this year, there's some symbols that we have that we haven't had before, and I want you and everybody else to know what it is. Uh, the squares are national parks and monuments. The circles are the islands and cities. And uh, the arrow are the bodies of water. Cool? Yeah. Okay, let's just get rid of this thing right now. Clear. Okay, remember... Oh. Okay. Remember, uh, you have to get 8 and 45 seconds. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you hear that wrong answer two times, come on back and we'll continue. But if you're right, 8 times and 45 seconds, you win the trip. You ready to go? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah! All right. Got a marker in your hand. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, buddy. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmel to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Yes. Fort George, Quebec, Canada. Quebec, Canada. Yes. Costa Rica. Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. Great Bear Lake, Canada. Great Bear Lake, Canada. Yeah. Springs, Illinois. Illinois. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Nova Scotia, Canada. Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Yeah. Put the sale in North Carolina. North Carolina. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Do it. Do it. Do it. Lake Nicaragua. Lake Nicaragua. Yes. Yes. Man!
You had me shaking for a minute there. You nailed every one of them to the very last. It was late in Nicaragua, but you found out what it was. That means that you and a parent are going to Montreal, Canada. Bye, buddy. Woo! How do you feel, man? Good. You should feel good. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockefeller. Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger folks up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and stop the real bad man. But they could have right on the from the red seas of Greenland. Carmen San Diego. This is Lynn Dixon for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And remember, from Mozambique to Nova Scotia, doing crime just isn't kosher. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? A little louder. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Just where. The part of the shadow was played by Nicole Leach. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded.